How does metformin help PCOS? Let's talk about it. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is the most common endocrinological disorder in women. PCOS is one of the leading causes of infertility worldwide, affecting 1 in 10 women of reproductive age. PCOS is a metabolic disorder caused by hormonal imbalances, including too much male hormone, hyperandrogenemia, too much insulin, hyperinsulinemia, and the hypersecretion of luteinizing hormone, or LH. PCOS is a looted medical science. Their focus has been on malfunctioning ovaries. Your ovaries have three different types of cells, oocytes, granulosa cells, and theca cells. Oocytes divide within follicles to become the ovum or potentially fertilizable egg. Granulosa cells provide the physical support and microenvironment required for the developing oocyte. And theca cells make up the connective tissue surrounding the follicle and help create ovarian follicles in a process called folliculogenesis. Theca cells have a crucial role in fertility, helping follicles mature enough to become fertilized, and theca cells are the last of the follicle to die. Once the ovulation occurs, theca cells differentiate and form the corpus luteum. That's a little cave left over when the oocytes ovulate. The corpus luteum produces progesterone to maintain the pregnancy. Theca cells are fundamental for follicular growth, providing all the androgens required for the developing follicles for conversion into estrogens by the granulosa cells. Theca cell function is enabled through an establishment of vascular system which provides communication with the hypothalamus throughout the reproductive cycle. Most research on PCOS has focused on the role of theca cells. When theca cells become insulin resistant, they produce too much testosterone, and too much testosterone leads to hyperandrogenism in polycystic ovary syndrome. Hyperandrogenism causes hirsutism, or male-like body and facial hair, loss of the scalp hair, acne, midline weight gain, and elevations of cholesterol and blood pressure. Metformin was originally used in PCOS women to find out how much insulin resistance affects polycystic ovary syndrome. In PCOS, insulin resistance is caused by hyperinsulinemia or too much insulin production by your pancreas. Too much insulin may increase too much testosterone production by interfering with communication between your hypothalamus, pituitary, and ovary. Too much insulin can also decrease circulating levels of sex hormone binding globulin. Sex hormone binding globulin helps bind testosterone to prevent hirsutism. Now we discuss the problems of women with PCOS face in our hormone support group, which you can access through our free hormone reboot training. Women with PCOS are often infertile. Metformin can induce ovulation in non-obese women with PCOS. While metformin offers some advantages over first-line treatments for anovulatory infertility, like clomiphene, it can have significant side effects, which I discuss at length in my video on how metformin works. Metformin is a downstream medical treatment. Downstream medicine focuses on the treatment of symptoms, not the root cause. The problem with ignoring the root cause is that you never really heal the issue. The hormonal irregularities of PCOS are centrally controlled by your hypothalamus. Supporting your hypothalamus can help reverse insulin resistance and improve fertility in women with PCOS. I'll see you in the next video.